What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. All right, folks, we don't have much time today. I'm doing this for more than one reason. Number one, this is the second time I've been to this place. I used fish brain to find it. It's a really cool looking reservoir. The first time I came out here, I only had like an hour. Um, and I don't even know what they like here. The water is really clear. Um, so today I decided to do a little bit of a big, big challenge. The reason why I'm doing this today I wasn't even gonna fish today, but I went to edit and I noticed that even more of the footage that I didn't think was screwed up was completely screwed up. So this, it really sucks. Um, then I checked with the day that I went out fishing with Amy and uh, the night fishing stuff with Chris and towards the end of the second night, my camera seemed to be working fine with the audio all the way through the end of the night and then all through the monster bass challenge. So. I'm confused. I don't know what the hell is going on with the audio. I did a bunch of checks today. I was like moving around and jumping around and friggin' doing everything and checking all the connections and nothing seemed to screw it up. And while I was, you know, all the times that it started to screw up when during all of the filming, it was like at the most random times. Like I wasn't even moving weird. Now, the last few days out in Wisconsin, when I was fishing for muskie, uh, it did rain a lot, so maybe like some water got in here and screwed it up. I, I literally don't know. So part one of this challenge is, does your audio work? Part two, though, is can we catch a fish on a giant bait with bluebird skies and uh, a little bit of wind? I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's not super windy, but it's a little windy. We're gonna go out today and we're gonna give it a grind. I'm gonna give each bait an hour because I have about two hours before I have to leave here to go to work. We have two baits that we're gonna throw today. We're gonna throw the Buka Bull Shad and we're gonna throw the Savage Gear Snake. So do these fish want a fish or a snake? That's gonna be the main question here. And you know, it's a challenge for me too because uh, I throw big baits a lot, but I throw them at night mostly and uh, I don't have a ton of luck on them during the day, but this place, this place here just looks juicy as hell. And uh, there's this one kid that posted on Fish Brain a bunch here, and he's caught some freaking donkeys in here and all on big baits. So that's what we're going for. We're gonna throw big baits, and we're gonna throw them all day. That's all we're bringing with us is our frogging rod, because our swim bait rod's broken in half. Uh, we're gonna put our 20 pound test fluoro on our swim bait reel which is our Shimano casting that we got uh, a while back. So, without any further ado, let's get our frickin' bull shad, let's get our frickin' snake, and let's get the hell out there. We got some batteries charging in there. This is our Shimano casting. This is our swim bait reel. It's a 300 series. Guys, if you're gonna throw big baits, you're gonna want a reel that can actually handle the big baits. You're also gonna want a reel uh, that can handle a ton of big line. That's kind of the most important thing. You know, you get a 200 series, it's gonna work, but you know, you break off a few times and then you're out of line. Whereas with the uh, 300 series, you can fit so much more line on something like this. All right, folks, so today, today's a wacky wild day. So we're taking the snake out first. We're gonna put an hour on the clock once we get up there. Let's see what fucking time it is right now. 1.47. 147 we're gonna be fine so we're gonna put an hour on the, whoa we're gonna put an hour on a clock when we get up there and we're gonna start her up and we're gonna see if we can't catch a bass on the fucking snake we only have an hour for the snake then we're gonna switch over the bullshit and we're gonna see if we can catch a fish on the bullshit we're gonna see if you know we get any blow-ups at all and if so it's kind of like a what do the bass want do they want something like this would they eat this snake because I sure shit don't know Let's go ahead and do this. Put an hour on the timer. We're gonna give the snake one hour. All right. Not one hour and 15 minutes. One gosh darn hour. Don't know if you can see that. Don't know if you can even hear my audio because apparently it's all fucked up. So, one, two, three, let's go. All right, folks. Part of the inspiration for this video came from uh, Benjamin Nowak. Nowak, he's part of the uh, Monster Bass group. Um, I believe he's one of the 
founding fathers of Mo Monster Bass, along with Alex Rudd. I'm gonna leave Benjamin's video where he catches a five pound freaking giant on a Savage Gear uh, swim bait. I'm gonna leave that linked below. He thought it was a pike at first. It freaking was so heavy. It was dope. Excellent, excellent, excellent video. Um, so we'll leave that link below. I'll leave Alex's channel link below. We'll leave Chaos's channel link below. Um, we have such a good crew in the Monster Bass. Like, it's, it's so cool to be a part of it. Now, I'm not sponsored or anything. I pay for my subscription. I'm just there to help these guys because I like what they do. Um, they're super informational. This snake looks freaking amazing in the water, guys. Now, with my experience with swim baits, bass frickin' eat anything that moves. But sometimes, during these bluebird skies, I don't have a ton of luck with the swim baits, so we'll see. Last time I was here, I ran into some people that were talking politics uh, while they were walking, and we actually ended up getting in a really good conversation about politics because, uh, you know, that. We were on different sides of the fence and we both, we all, all three of us agreed that the far left and the far right is just tapped, you know? And that, uh, you know, the government literally, they want us to fight against each other. That's why they started the far left and the far right, so that they could pin us against each other with their crazy views. And it's obnoxious. Like, why can't we all just, like, why can't there be one party where everyone you know is working together for the greater good that's what George Washington wanted he literally told us if we split we're gonna divide the country and then they were like well if we divide the country we can go running off with all the money what do you guys think I'm not gonna tell you whether I'm Democrat or Republican I'll tell you what though, there's you know good things on both sides of the fence. There's great views from both. And then there's really dumb shit that both parties do. And they do it to pin us against each other. They do it so they can freaking work, walk away with all the money. Because you know what? They're all working together. They are all working together. And they're running away with it. Because they've divided us. Because we're not one. We're not one country. What do you guys think? We might not catch a giant here today, but if we keep hammering this place, we are going to catch a giant. No boats allowed on here. Ain't nobody bass boating around here, fucking just hammering it like that. Everybody's fishing from shore. If they're fishing at all, you're not even allowed in the water. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's eating. He's eating bait fish. Look at him. Oh, he's chasing them all around. That's so cool. First bass we've seen in here. Little guys. Fucking people here don't know how to keep their dogs out of the water. I don't know it's a water source. That's like the fifth dog I've seen in the water over here. It's fucking unbelievable. You would think they would keep their goddamn dog on a leash if they're gonna go and swim in a place you're not supposed to be swimming. Oh, that's it for the snake, folks.
Are you kidding me? It's a fucking $75 bait. God damn it. You can see it fucking clear as day too. That just ruined the whole fucking challenge. I don't know what the hell happened there. There it is. Guys, should I swim out and get it? Very, very tempting. The water is super warm. It's right there. Not supposed to swim in here, but I'm about ready to risk it. It's gonna be coming towards me, I think, a little bit. As long as it keeps coming, I'll have a lot shorter of a swim. Golly, this fucking sucks. It's coming towards me, folks. It's right here. Might be swimming, might not. Let's check the timer on when we get a beat of work. Way shorter of a swim now. It's all good. I just lost a hundred dollar lure. Yeah, I'm about to take the plunge. It's floating on the top of the water. I'm like ready to risk it. It's right there. Right in front of my other one. Later. getting blown right at me folks I think this is my best time to get in there after it though I'm running out of time I gotta go to work looks like we're swimming today in a place we shouldn't be swimming catch of the day in $75 swim bait. <sighs> Hopefully I don't get like a $200 fine for that. That is the second most expensive thing we've got this week. <sighs> Chris's swim bait setup, 300 and something bucks. And the custom painted Buka Bullshad that is no longer custom painted because I've been beating the hell out of it. But uh, holy shit. Awesome. At least it's clean water and we didn't pee in it. There she is. Well, folks, the swim bait challenge was a fail, but we didn't lose our bullshit. And that's really what matters today and now, isn't it? Really came out here just to test the audio on the GoPro. That was really the main point after all the crap that's happening with it to see if it was fixed because the last time we went out it didn't mess up once but all the times before that it was really having some troubles so we tested that out it was good then we lost the bull shad and we got her back so although we didn't catch a fish on the big swim baits i would say that's a successful challenge and that is, folks, as realistic as it gets. Also, if you don't already watch Realistic Fishing, you're crazy. Uh, go check out Alex's channel. Probably the most realistic channel on YouTube. No BS, doesn't hold anything back, and he is the freaking man. And he's been super supportive of our channel since day one. So, 
if you liked seeing me go swimming for this freaking bullshit, and if you laughed at me, because I'm a fucking idiot, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell as well, because more shenanigans are probably on the way. I can never predict this shit, folks. Man, I really wish we caught a fish today and didn't waste a good 20 minutes staring at the bullshit out in the deep. But we got a brack, and it's time for work. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Fish the fuck on. Thank you.